um, talking about end times, many people here have heard it's getting worse. Correct? Those of you who've lived a little longer, you have probably heard it preached from the pulpit that it's getting worse. The politicians want to tell you it's getting worse. But let me share something that is going to show you a very different story. It's actually looking better. Let's go back to the last 100 years. Not even a thousand years, but let's just go to the last 100 years. Infant mortality, that is children who are born dying during the process of birth. If you had 20 children born, it was likely that only two will survive. That was because we had no knowledge of things like germs. We did not know much about germs. We did not have cures for germs. Uh, we also had so many epidemics 100 years ago. And if we go a little bit further, like even a 1,000 years ago, there was a time when there were so many epidemics that one-third of Europe died. One out of three people in Europe died. They actually believed that they were in the end times that time. They believed scriptures had said that a quarter of the world would die in the last days. And so they thought they are actually living in the last days. And they thought they would be dead, um, just as the scripture says. But it was an epidemic. We have stories of epi epidemics that killed entire cities. I mean Almost everyone killed in Australia, in South Africa, in Europe, and of course, a lot in Africa. When you look also at wars, the world has been at war constantly for thousands of years. Africa, tribal wars everywhere. Um, Europe has had wars until a few years ago, until the 40s. And so we're dealing with a world that is not going into war anymore as much as they used to. When you look at technology, close to 100 years ago, J.P. Morgan was the only man who had electricity in New York. His house was the only house with electricity. He actually had the elec electric plant in his house. Today, every home in America has electricity. Almost 100% of every home in this country, except some cabins and some places, almost everything here is, has electricity. When you look at transport and communication, can you imagine there were no roads? So if you're going to go on a hike, on a trail, that's how the whole nation looked like. People were wading through trees and bushes and shrubs and rivers trying to get into this country and make something good out of it. When you look at the way people used to live, people lived for 51 years and they died on average. The average lifespan of an American was 51 years. Today it is 76 years. People are living longer. Those of you who are arguing in your hand about the 50s, especially the golden age of the 50s and the, the boom of economy and the, the drive-throughs and everything, um, if you factor in the inflation and everything, we are doing much better today financially that you'd than you would have done in the 50s. However, there's one thing that has not gone right. The morality has continued to worsen again, over and over and over, consistently with the scripture. 